Hey guys, this is Smithy. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is a very special video. We're going to create a makeup starter kit for anybody who's going to start in the makeup, who's just dipping the toes in the makeup. But I definitely wanted to give you some great options. I have used everything that I'm talking about on my face and you can see how my complexion looks. If you like everything that you're seeing on my face, and you're like, Smithy, I need to know everything about it, then please keep on watching. I tried to put a mix of like drugstore, affordable, high-end, as well as indie eyeshadows. So I am so impressed by all of these products and that is why I'm recommending to you guys. I am not gonna recommend anything to you guys that I am not impressed about. So if you're ready, let's begin. Okay, let's begin with the brows because we need some brows on this eyes. And for that, I would highly recommend anything from Maybelline or L'Oreal. My favorite is from Maybelline and this is called the Brow Precise Micro Pencil. And the one that I have is in the shade Soft Brown. I've used like several of these. I've gone through several of these. I love that the tip is like fine and defined. I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna finish off my brows and I'll get right back. Now I feel a little more complete once I have the brows on. So let's move on to the primer. The two primer that I would highly recommend for anyone who's starting in the makeup, either you're a dry skin person and you need like a moisturizing primer. And for that, I would highly recommend the NYX Plump Right Back proof primer and this is the one that has electrolytes in it it gives a, a very slight bit of like tacky base so that the foundation can grip onto it and if you are like on a combo oily side i would highly recommend this catrice prime and fine keep me matte primer i absolutely love this this actually covers all the pores any texture that you have on the skin it applies just like a moisturizer so I would highly recommend that because I am right now a little more on like the oily combo side. I'm going to apply this, but both of them are superb, like absolutely superb quality. So I mainly focus this on the center of my face and just let it sit for like 10 seconds, I would say. And then you'll be all ready for the foundation application. For the foundation, if you're starting up, you basically want to start off with not like a full coverage foundation but a little bit on like a light medium medium buildable coverage foundation so the two that i have to recommend one is from high-end and one is from drugstore from drugstore i would highly recommend this l'oreal true match nude serum foundation i have mine in the shade five to six which is medium to tan this is a little bit more on the tan side i am a little more on the tan side right now so this matches me perfectly it's just a slight bit darker but this matches me pretty well i would say uh, otherwise my normal shade that i would recommend in this would be like four to five which is medium the other skin tint that i would recommend to you guys is from fenty beauty and this is their ease drop blurring skin tint and this one is in the shade 11 this is my actual shade like when i'm not tan so today i'm just going to mix both of these together because why not let me see if i can only put this because i am at my tannest right now so maybe this would work i think this would so i'm just going to show you this and uh, especially when you're just starting off with the makeup i would say if there is makeup that would give you like great quality product but at an affordable price i would say start with that because i really remember my days when i used to love and i still love my wet n wild foundation and it's just like high quality product at five dollar cost like i love it i i would still recommend the wet n wild foundation and the believe beauty foundation but i would say these two would be like the high accessible kind of a product see how this matches me like absolutely perfectly right now and this gives like good coverage i would say so if you have any redness on the skin this would definitely cover it but it feels so lightweight because it's a serum foundation i definitely have some discoloration on my forehead so i do want to cover all that up i have a lot of redness i had like a pimple if you would have seen like before i had a pimple right like on the i i don't know what's up with that from where did it pop up but yeah i do have one pimple and that covered up so it definitely provides with like a good medium buildable coverage i would say and that's what you really want when you're starting off with makeup because you definitely don't want to mask it up and for that this is perfect now i 
personally feel when we talk about concealers i at least started off my makeup journey because of the under eye like darkness that's when i realized like okay i need some makeup to hide all those imperfections and for that I mean drugstore, high-end, whatever, I would highly recommend this. And this is their Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer. And I have mine in the shade 145. I also have a shade 135, which is my actual shade. This is what I use when I am a little more on the tan side. So I'm going to apply that. Not much, just here. Like just here. And then just lift it up a tiny little bit. And then on the center of my face, basically like on the T-zone, just so that it gives me a little more on the brightness. And I'll take the same foundation brush that I use just because I am not looking for like a bright center of the face, but I want to cover it up and give some dimension on the face. So whatever product is left on the foundation brush would easily mix in with the concealer that we have on the face. And that would give us like a smooth finish. And this concealer by itself is such a smoothing concealer and it has like good full coverage to it. So it will cover everything. But like if you have texture underneath your eyes, you definitely need to try this. Like you would fall in love with this product. I'm a person who has a lot of texture and bumps here, especially like underneath the eyes and on like my cheek area, like the high points of my cheek. And this just helps out with all of that. That is what I would recommend for anyone who needs a concealer, I would say. Because I cannot see one person like not liking that product. That's my favorite, like favorite. Okay, now talking about powders. I definitely want to show you both the formats of the powder. One loose setting powder and one of a pressed setting powder. And for that, I would highly recommend the One Size Beauty Translucent Setting Powder especially for underneath the eyes again if you are the one who struggles with texture underneath your eyes you definitely need this so i'm going to take a little bit on the back of the cap and then just press it underneath the eyes and i'm using it only underneath the eyes only because i'll show you both like cream products and powder products for both like bronzer as well as blush and I don't want the powder to mix in with the cream products. So right now I'm only going to use the loose setting powder. And you can see immediately how this product like smooths out everything, everything on the face. So basically I'm going to use this loose setting powder only in the areas where we applied the concealer today. Just like that. Now let's move on to the bronzers. If you are uh, like a normal to dry kind of a person, you definitely would need like a cream bronzer product. And I would highly recommend this. This is new from LYS and this is their LYS cream bronzer stick. And mine I have in the shade Harmony, which is for medium skin tones. This is like just the right shade for me. Not when I'm like tan tan, which is like right now. So right now it will just give me like a subtle a bronzy effect which is what I'm going for today but if I am on my like normal complexion I would use this like all by itself and the shape of it is like amazing amazing like for the nose for the face it just is so good and the smoothness of this product is like to another level just because I'm not looking for like that full coverage look today. So I'm just going to apply that slightly on the temples of my face. Just to give a little more of like a sculpted look. And this blends so beautifully. I've done a dedicated video reviewing this product. Basically loving this product. <laughs> and I cannot recommend this enough. And it's like $19 for a high-end product. Oh my god, you need this. Another one cream bronzer stick that I would recommend is M Cosmetics. But M Cosmetics, again, is not as accessible like LYS. Just because LYS, you can find it in Sephora. M Cosmetics, you would have to go on the M Cosmetics website to find it. So I basically chose the products that you can like easily access. 
but I, yeah, without a doubt, I absolutely love the M Cosmetics one too. So that's what the cream bronzer that I would recommend if you are starting up because this is like foolproof bronzer. Like you are not getting any harsh edges with this and it's going to be beautiful. Now, for cream blushes, I definitely have options. I would again highly recommend the M Cosmetics one. Absolutely beautiful product. Similarly, I would also recommend the Half Kit Candy Paint Cream Blushes, especially in the shade Velvet Tiger. I feel like this is like a universal shade that anybody can pull off. Like I absolutely love it. And this is like $9. Highly, would highly recommend this. But again, these two, you'll have to go to their website to buy these products. The other liquid blush that I would recommend is definitely from Flower Beauty. And this is more accessible in like Ulta. And this one is in the shade Cheeky. And this is their blush bombs. So for today, um, let me show you how candy paint looks because it's been quite some time that I've not used this. But generally, I do use like Flower Beauty all the time on this channel. So let me show you how candy paint Velvet Tiger looks. It's more of like that nudey pink mauve blush but it also gives like a, a little bit more of a sheen to the skin can you see that it's very very beautiful not like overly glowy by any means but yes super super lovely that's what i would say if you are starting or a beginner in makeup i would highly recommend this okay now let's move on to the powder foundation I would highly, highly recommend this L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Powder Foundation. You cannot go wrong with this product at all. I absolutely love this and I am in the shade Radiant Honey. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a big fluffy brush and I'm just going to dip into that and just go all over the face. Just to lightly set everything every cream product that we have used on our face. And it's gonna just lightly brush everything, nothing much like, you can definitely go with this as like a powder foundation and use like a denser brush, like this Real Techniques Insta Pop face brush. This is more like a for dense. You can press this on your skin and that would give like a flawless finish. But just for today, I'm gonna do like a very light layer on the face. And then for the bronzer, similar to L'Oreal Infallible Face Powder, I am absolutely loving their bronzers too. And I am in the shade Medium, which is 350. Oh my God, very, very similar packaging to their powders. But again, very smooth formula. And I'm absolutely loving that. It gives like a very nice tan on the skin, like very wearable tan, I would say. If I like get more tan, this is the shade that I would get into. So that's why I would highly recommend this. Okay, now let's talk about the highlighter. Can anyone guess what highlighter would I choose for a makeup starter kit? <laughs> yes, it is going to be my Makeup by Mario and this one is in the shade Golden. It's just my favorite. Like I don't have anything else to say. It's just my favorite. I love the way it applies on the skin. I love the shade of it, especially for like medium tan skin tone. I absolutely love it. Like, yeah. I'm using a wrong brush. I don't know why. Okay, let me show you. Okay, so this one is the Real Techniques setting brush. Now, yeah, let's talk about brushes. Uh, if, can you see that? Can you see that? If you are like a starter of makeup and if you want to get some brushes, I would highly recommend Real Techniques brushes and Morphe brushes. Especially, I would say Real Technique brushes for the face. And I have a specific set to recommend because I love that set. And I have like recommended that set over and over again on my channel, like without fail. Yeah, it's just because I just love, love that set. And I use it continuously on me for like an everyday makeup. Look at that highlighter. Oh my God, squirrel. I'm just a squirrel. Okay, I love the glow it gives. I love how smooth it is. Like, I love it. I love everything, everything about this highlighter. I think this is it. So it basically comes with like a concealer brush, a setting brush, which you can like set your underneath your eyes, like setting powder, 
uh, or I use this for my highlighter. Then you get like a beautiful blush brush. Like this is beautiful for like powder blushes or bronzer application. I love the shape of this brush. And this is basically for like foundation. They call it like expert face brush. You can use it for foundation. I basically used it for my cream contour. And this is the powder brush, which is like big and fluffy. I use it all, all, all the time. Like the this, I would highly recommend like 100%. And as far as eye brushes are concerned, I love my uh, Morphe brushes. If you have to ask me, like blending brushes from Morphe, I would highly recommend M441, which is the uh, blender brush. I use it all the time, that's why it's dirty. And also M443, yes. And this is more on the flatter side, but again for blending. I am good with these two brushes if I have, and then uh, finger application for the shimmers I'll be good and I'll be set but if you need like a brush set from Morphe I would highly recommend the Jaclyn Hill uh, brush set especially her eye brushes it's so beautiful and so pretty and I think she has covered like almost everything that you need I think that is it I'm sorry if I'm missing anything but I think that is it so she has like a big fluffy brush she has a medium fluffy blending brush. Then she has the one that I spoke about, like a flatter on the barrel and then a little more fluffy. I love to use this on like my outer corners. And then she has a small detailer fluffy brush. Uh, and then she has a flat definer brush just to like tight line or for like liner application. And then she has like a, you know, the lid shading brush space. It's like beautiful for shimmers. And then she has a smaller shader brush for like the inner corners, then she has a pencil brush. I mean, this set is absolutely lovely. I would highly recommend this to anyone. Actually, for the eyeshadow application, I'm just gonna use this and then show you how you can achieve like a full-fledged eye look with just these brushes. But I would highly recommend these, especially when they are for sale. Snag it at a sale price. You will not be disappointed, that's my guarantee. Okay, let's just move on. Once we have the bronzer, blush, powder, everything on our face, now it's time to move. Now it's time to move to set our face, let's set our face and then we'll move on to the eyes. For setting my face, I would, if you are a drugstore person, I would highly recommend the Milani, um, what is that called? Oh my God, I have to get it. I would highly recommend the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. You can see how much is left, like that's, that's how tiny is left. I use this all the time. From drugstore, I would highly recommend this. But if you are a high-end person, high-end girl, I would highly recommend anything from All Night Align and I have the one uh, with vitamin C in it. So I'm going to use this because I'm loving this right now. And the scent that it has like refreshes the skin for the day. Love it. Like absolutely love it. You need to be a little careful with this just because this I think just locks in the makeup like so hard that if you spray it on your hair, you will definitely come to know because your hair will start sticking. But yeah, if you just like brush your hair with the fingers, you'll be okay with it. The first time I applied it, I was like, uh, why is my hair sticking together? I have no idea because my hair generally is like so fine, it never sticks together. Uh, but I, I came to know that this is the culprit for that. <laughs> okay, so, okay, now let's move on to the eyes. Now, I personally feel if you are starting in the makeup, you basically need like one neutral eyeshadow palette and one special shades eyeshadow palette. That would cover a plethora of looks for you guys. So, if you are a beginner in makeup, the two eyeshadow palettes that I would highly, highly recommend is one from Glamlight and this is the Chocolate Martini palette and this would be like your neutral best friend for your eyes. Like, I especially feel like you don't need any other palette to cover your neutral. It has like those warm tones, those neutral brown tones, you have like deep chocolatey brown shade, you have like that orangey shade, a very unique like a pinky brown shade, you have like mauve shades with you, you have like very light blending shade for like everyday simple eye look, you have like a cool tone neutral brown shade here. You have a lot of neutrals in this palette but with amazing shimmers and that are like neutral shimmers. So you have like a rose gold, you have like a pinky shimmer, you have a bronzy uh, shade, you have like a white white gold shade, you have like a rich golden, um, what is it, like dirty golden shade, like a little bit with like an olive undertone, you have so much neutral, but you also have two special shades in this 
palette which is this orange shimmer as well as this duochrome like a purple to a blue shifting shade so this definitely like covers a lot of looks alone for you guys but if you are a person who loves who loves their neutrals but also wants to dabble into some colorful makeup i would highly recommend this palette also and this is from it's bell cosmetics and this is their first palette which is the break the rules palette now this is not by any means like a multi chrome palette but it has some beautiful duo chromes and sparkly shifty shades and this covers a lot of shades that you're not getting in this chocolate martini palette and this would just cover everything for you these two palettes will be amazing like amazing together to just cover so many so many looks for you like look at them together it is just going to be beautiful so i'm going to apply my eyeshadow using these two palettes and show you how we can achieve like beautiful looks so let's begin i have done like several looks using this palette on my channel i link a few in the eye cards above for you guys but let's move a little more on like a purpley mauvey side i think that's the one that i've not achieved uh using these palettes before so let's start off i'm going to start off with this shade which is irish cream and this is always been like my transitioning shade so that's what i'm going to use and i'm using that big fluffy blending brush from jacqueline hill brush set from morphe so this is basically going to be like my skin tone shade but with like a hint hint of pink in it now let's move on to a uh, a little bit on the mauvey side so i'm going to take this shade which is called all night and i'm going to take that basically starting off at my outer corners and then flicking it in my crease i basically want like a smooth transition from like a purple to a pink and then we'll deepen it up a tiny little bit on the outer corners i'm also going to take the same shade on my lower lash line and this is one brush that i've used so far and you can see like we can build some shades with this brush line now i'm going to dip into this shade which is called girls night out it's a little more on the deeper side and this is more of like that mauvey brown shade and then i'm going to focus that on my outer corners and i'm just going to transition it towards my center and basically just tapping it in so that just get a little more depth not much just a little more i'm going to do the same thing on my lower lash line now with the same shade girls night out i'm going to tap off the excess and just do a little sweepy sweep on the inner third just here on both the sides we don't want to join it just a little darkness here and that will bring out the roundness of the eyes a little more basically like on in the socket of the eyes i'm going to take the first irish cream shade and just blend all everything together and now i'm going to take this deep dark chocolate shade the dark chocolate shade from the palette the flat definer brush and just put that on the extreme outer corner of the eye and just tap off on the extreme outer corners this would give some definition for sure but i am not looking for like super deep outer corner so i'm just going to tap it off okay now once we have all those neutral shades in our crease not pretty neutral i would say mauvey tones in our crease let's go with like a flat defining brush and we're going to go into the break the rules palette now what are we going to do is the whole question i want to go pinky purple i don't know why i just love the pinky purple too. like everything would look just beautiful with this but okay let's do this pink and this purple because i love those tones together okay so i'm first going to take this shade which is go rouge look at that i'm going to apply that look at that these are some special shades i'm going to just put that oh i was about to apply my thing with a brush anyways yeah i'm just using my fingers for this shade i'll use it use the brush with the pink shade the light is going on and off i'm so sorry about it i generally film in natural lighting so the sun is acting weird today this even with this blue would be stunning like stunning Obviously when you go with like finger application it will be more dispersed in everywhere but if you go with like a brush application it will be more defined 
so it totally depends on what is your liking uh, towards the shimmers but now i'll show you with the brush it just picks out very very beautifully now i'm going to pick up this shade which is called bold this beautiful hot pink shade i'm going to apply that towards the inner third of the eye and blending it into the purple look at that and it's so dimensional too now i'm gonna go to this shade should i do this or this let's do this shade just watch and i'm gonna apply this towards my inner corner of the eye so i'm just gonna take that like that look at that shade and just melt it into that pink shade now i am big on eyeliners and if i have to recommend one eyeliner to you it is going to be the wet n wild break the proof eyeliner i don't think you need anything else in your life if you have this and this one is in the shade ultra black yes ultra black so i'm gonna finish off my eyes with this liner and then i get right back so this is how the eyes turned out so now for the mascara can anybody guess yes <laughs> it is going to be the l'oreal lash paradise mascara i absolutely love this and this i would cry if l'oreal discontinues this because i just use this all the time and i cannot stay without it so you need this for sure if you are looking for a mascara you absolutely need this it just gives volume length curling effect everything to your lashes are you kidding me look at the before and the after like look at the before and the after it's just crazy to me and this is why you need it like you absolutely need it like look at it look at it i have no words so this is how my eyes have turned out let me give you a close up and you can see how beautifully glittery special this eyeshadows are like yeah you don't need like anything else if you love these shades you absolutely need it now the eyeshadow that i showed you from it's bell cosmetics is more on like a jewel tone color story especially this one i also have their flare collection remixed palette so if you're more into i would say greens and purples you would absolutely love this i love this palette too but i would say if you want more of like different different colors in the spectrum with a neutral palette i would highly recommend this yeah i just love love all the shades that has been like chosen in these palettes i cannot wait for its belt to come out with a new eyeshadow palette like i cannot wait let's move on to the lips because if i have to recommend one lip liner i would highly recommend colourpop's lippy pencils and i am going to just put bff3 on my lips today let me first sharpen this and these are like such beautiful dupes to the KKW Beauty lip liners, formerly known as KKW Beauty. I don't know if they're going to come out with a beauty line or not. I know she has come out with a skincare line, but I cannot wait for her to get her lip liners back at least because I'm a big, big, big fan of the Nude 2 and Nude 2.5. And these ColourPop lip liners are so smooth. They're so long wearing. I absolutely love whatever your color tone is for your lips. You absolutely need this. My favorite is like the Beeper lip liner, which is more on the mauvey side and the BFF3, which is more of on the brown side. I have like 10 or 12 lippy pencils from ColourPop. I would highly recommend it. Now talking about lipsticks, I have a few to recommend to you guys. I absolutely love L'Oreal's in this line. I don't know, what is this called? L'Oreal Color Riche lipsticks. Basically everything is L'Oreal Color Riche, but the one that comes in this like taupey gray packaging, absolutely love them. My favorite one is Cutting Edge Cork, which is more of like, look how much is left. Like that's, that's all that is left for me. And this is like my favorite you know the gray brown the cool tone brown that we all love oh my god i absolutely love this and i would highly recommend from drugstore the milani uh, matte fetish lipsticks i'm more of a matte person so i would re highly recommend these two from drugstore if you're looking for a high-end formula you cannot go wrong with pat mcgrath and my favorite is makeup by mario's lipsticks and this one is in the shade fanda so i think for this eye look i can either go with this one the l'oreal one or i can go with fanda i think i'm gonna go with this one look at that oh my god i'm in love i just love love these lipsticks so very much okay if you want a little more of the cooler tone like a mauvey color sorry fanda is like my favorite i would say so even this would go like so oh my god <laughs> even this would go so well with that eye look yeah 
you get the gist like i love it those are like my tones i love 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 them okay now if you are more of a gloss person i would highly recommend again three formulas two from drugstores one from high end the one from high end that i would highly recommend is the tower 28 lip jellies these are some beautiful gel like lip lip glosses you would absolutely not need anything else this one is in the shade coconut it looks like very in the face pink but it goes so nicely with like the lips oh my god it's just so nice it's the pigmentation is just right because of that gel like formula it just feels like glass on your lips love it if you want like a lip balm consistency but like a shiny lip gloss but very comfortable on the lips i would highly recommend this one from l'oreal and this is the l'oreal lip balm and this one specifically is in the shade rose harmony oh my god the scent is lovely absolutely stunning and the one from the Vinaya line from Maybelline. Oh my God, these Vinaya lipstick. This one is in the shade Cheeky. Even this one would look absolutely stunning. This is so long wearing, like so long wearing on the lips. I cannot even say, like all of them would go so nicely together. Yeah, just to show you, let me just put the L'Oreal one, the Rose Harmony one, just on the tippy tops. Can you see the shine that it gives? Oh my God, yeah, that's it lovely like absolutely lovely and this would be like my makeup starter kit for all the beginners and you can see how beautiful the complexion looks how beautiful the eyes look and those are the products that i would highly recommend if you are like a beginner in makeup and you want to start up your makeup starter kit i would highly recommend all these products you can definitely get those dimensions on your eyes the complexion looks absolutely smooth and lovely Oh my God, look at how the skin looks. Like I am impressed. I'm absolutely impressed. I tried to put a lot of drugstore products which are like absolutely high quality and I would recommend it like no matter what. But I definitely wanted to give you options also from the high-end category and the indie makeup industry also. Indie makeup stands out in eyeshadows. So that's why I recommend it to indie brands for you. But rest, everything is super accessible, super affordable and super like budget friendly also i would say so that's all for today guys i really hope that you guys enjoyed this makeup starter kit that i would recommend for you guys if you have anything else that you would put in your makeup starter kit and that i did not mention and you're like smithy how can you forget this then do let me know in the comment section below otherwise you know what to do do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and ring that notification bell so that you're notified every time that i post next i generally upload three videos every single week every tuesdays thursdays and saturdays at 9 a.m eastern standard time until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!